In this video, we're going to focus on the multiple input of the text. So, for example, what happens if you have not only one item, but multiples? So you can imagine here, we don't only have the first name, we will have here also our last name or middle name. We might have another item, we would say here maybe the maiden name, could be as well, I guess that's the same as the middle name, the last name, and then what we could do here, finally here is a suffix. Uh, suffix like junior or the third, something like that. So we all say here suffix. I'll say this one will be our last, and this will be our middle name. So then this will be this could be anything ABC, though, and here uh, junior. So if I save this and refresh, we have now three items, four items here. So how are we able? To get all of these so you can see here we did this here with the get first name so you might say all right we need to probably have multiple of those well basically not basically we can use the same function but i will say here just get name instead of it and this is very useful because of the this value that we have we are able to duplicate because javascript instantly recognizes and let me show you so i save and refresh and now if i put in here well, you can see this is John, but then I do here another one on ABC. You can see here we get this one. And here on though will be anything else. And then on junior, the suffix, we have also as well. So this helps us instantly to grab. But maybe you might say, all right, so how would I know which one I really clicked on? Well, we have the structure of this element and a dot value to extract the value. So we could do the same here, for example, with the ID. So let me show you. Copy this. And then here, I'll say element.id, if I save this, refresh. Now, here you can see, we get here the ID of first name, and this is the first name value. Now here for the middle name, we get the middle name, and then here as well the value, and then for doe, this is doe as last name value, and then this is the last name input. And finally here as well for the suffix. This helps us completely to reduce and minimize the amount of code we need.